All right, so if you are wanting to get a sinusoidal regression function by putting um, points into your calculator and getting your calculator to find that function for you, you hit stat, enter, and then this will come up with your lists. Now, I've already put in uh, a, a, a number of numbers here for the x, and here's the numbers for the y. So I have points 1, 3, 2, 9, 3, 18, and so on, all the way to 7, 1. So I'm going to use list 1 and list 2. List 1 is going to be my x. List 2 is going to be the y. So that's your first thing. Put those uh, values in. So now what you want to do is you want to go to second function y equals, which is the stat plots menu. And you want to make sure that one of these is on. And so you hit enter. If it's off, just move your cursor left and right and, and until it's blinking on the on and hit enter. This is fairly default here. That's just a scatter plot. Um, so that's good. And then you have to tell the calculator which list you want it to draw from in order to plot these points. So in my example it was list 1 and list 2. And so second function 1 is list 1 and so on. Second function 2 would be list 2. Okay, third thing you want to do is the window. So in my list, I had like from 1 to 7. So I changed my window so that I could see all of my x values. So I, I went just before 1 and just after 7 for 0 and 8. And then my points were like 1 to 19 or something like that. So I went from negative 1 to 20 on the y, just so we can see all the points on the graph. OK, so stat, lists, put your lists in there. Second function y equals, get the stat plot to turn the plots on and to tell the calculator which list to draw from. Then window is your third thing. Make sure you can see it. Now you hit graph. Now, um, okay, so I already have this, I'll clear this. So with the graph there, this is what you should see. Those are the points in my example. Um, you just got to make sure your window is proper to see that. Now to get the function, okay, so number four, fourth thing here, stat over to calculate and there's all these reg, 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 reg. We want to go down to sinusoidal regression, all the way down at the bottom. Okay, and you, of course, you could hit, you could go over to calc and you hit the up arrow once and you get right to it. So sinusoidal sine reg, that's what you want. You hit enter. That's not enough though. You have to tell the calculator which is my x list, and my x list was list one. So that's second function one comma in between x and y, of course. What's the y? Well, that's list 2. So you're telling the calculator which is your x, which is your y. Now here's a bit of a shortcut here to save you a little bit of time. Once it calculates the regression function, it will automatically populate those values into the y equals, and so you don't have to do that again. And this is how you do that, so this would be like the fifth step here. Vars, and then you go over to y, vars, and you want it to put the function into the calculator into one of these. And I just usually default y1. So again, that's vars over enter, enter. And you'll have this show up. So this is telling the calculator, draw x values from list 1, draw y values from list 2, and put the resulting function into y1. And you won't have to retype it. Now you hit enter. And it'll think for a few seconds, and then it'll come up with this screen. And so given those points, this is the best sinusoidal function that uh, it can create as a curve of best fit. So the A value is 8.68, the B value is 0.93, the C value is negative 1.857, and so on. Now, if you did this correctly, this should already be populated into y, y1. By hitting y equals, you can see that. And now you graph this again, and it should have the points and the curve of best fit. Okay, so that's what it should end up looking like. And on a tester's quiz or something like that, if you're asked to uh, determine the uh, sinusoidal regression function, then you'd have to go back to either your home screen right here or to y equals, and you'd have to, you know, copy out the uh, um, to two decimal places usually. So it'd be y equals 8.68 sine and bracket 0.93 x minus 1.86 bracket, plus 9.74. Done. Uh, home screen is second function quit. That's how you get to the home screen. And so there's your values there. Hey, any other questions? 
So once again, really quickly, stat enter to get to your lists. Second function y equals to get your stat plots, make sure those are on, your proper lists for x and y. And then uh, we want to go to window, make sure you can see your x, all your x values that you put in and all your y values that you put in. Uh, then you want to go to stat, calculate, go up to sine reg, put that in there, you know, list one, comma, list two, comma, varse, over, enter, enter, and then get it to calculate, and it'll calculate the uh, values for the line of regression. It should be in y equals already. Then you can graph, you'll have your points and your regression just so you can see that it's done correctly. The other thing is to make sure it's in radians. Default is radians here, not degrees. So radians. So when you have that x value, the default is radians. Okay, any questions? All right, you can do it.